what is up so real gang how are we doing today let's get into the video yesterday johnny blaze took to instagram and had a question regarding a relationship she had with a friend for seven years that was being fake and also leaked messages between her drake and big boogie johnny blaze ex-friend leaked messages between her and johnny where johnny blaze was stating that she tried to give big boogie head but his genitals was smelling really bad word got back to big boogie and he was not having it he took to instagram live and went off he even took to his story and had this to say cap Oh my God, why choose my name though? Then he stated, they won't get my attention again. Haven't did that in years. So I'm back in my don't give a F mode. Support me or shut up. It didn't stop there. Big Boogie did state that he did reach out to the girls and told them to clear his name. Ghetto Barbie did reach out to Big Boogie on Instagram and stated, I apologize. I was just trying to expose this hoe. Nothing to do with you. Then he responded, Well, my name in whatever y'all into it about. I never did anything with her, a hundred. But I'm not mad at all. But I was. F that ish. I just need my name cleared up for real. I don't respect that. Barbie responded, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna clear it. Johnny Blaze did take to Instagram and she also apologized to Big Boogie. It seems like she still did give him head. She just stated that she lied that it smelled because Ghetto Barbie had a reputation for going behind her back and talking to the guys that she had already dealt with. Comments down below and let us know what you think. Because to be honest, it's been so much women just coming out of the woodworks stating that they have either slept with Boogie, they are talking with Boogie, they're still in dealings with Boogie or whatever. It's like they're just trying to ruin carmen and big boogie's relationship because they seem happy i don't know guys i think corey might have something to do with this because nothing was being said until corey started talking about big boogie and carmen's relationship so i don't know but corey always you can't trust that man comment down below and let me know what you think about story time god just finished working out how would you feel if you were supposed to be friends with somebody and you find out that your friend has been bashing and talking so bad about you for seven years? Your personal, go inside your phone, screenshot in your bank statements when you accidentally left your phone, screenshot in celebrities' numbers to hit them up. How would you feel? What would you do? And then the person, find, you find out that the person did this to you and they send you flowers to your house. I just, I'm curious to know what somebody would do. If you found out that somebody was bashing you like that. And then the other thing is, have y'all ever seen me be a scary ass person? Okay, y'all, story time. God just finished working out. How would you feel if you were supposed to be friends with somebody and you find out that your friend has been bashing and talking so bad about you for seven years? Your personal, go inside your phone, screenshot in your bank statements when you accidentally left your phone, screenshot in celebrities' numbers to hit them up. How would you feel? What would you do? And then the person, find, you find out that the person did this to you and they send you flowers to your house. I just, I'm curious to know what somebody would do. If you found out that somebody was bashing you like that. And then the other thing is, have y'all ever seen me be a scary ass person? Good in my heart, watching you text me and then like knowing that I'm seeing it sometimes, not all the time, I mean, but sometimes I'm seeing it and I'm like, damn, I don't know what to say to her. Like, cause I just don't know where to start again, really with the situation, like, I really don't. I don't know where to start. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be honest. I wouldn't be being honest with you if I didn't say that like, oh, if I told you, yo, let's go for dinner or I'm at the post, oh, come kick it, da, 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 that I wouldn't be nervous. I just, I'm just nervous. And I, I'm not saying it to make you feel bad. It's just kind of a result of, of your actions, you know, in the, in the past, no matter how long ago it was, it just makes me nervous. I just don't know what, what what's gonna happen to me as a result of like getting close to you again. Clarity, because I really don't feel good in my heart watching you text me and then like knowing that I'm seeing it sometimes, not all the time, I mean, but sometimes I'm seeing it and I'm like, damn, I don't know what to say to her. Like, cause I just don't know where to start again, really with this situation. Like, I really don't. I don't know where to start. I, I don't. Girl, why I was.
came with a big boogie and he tried to f me raw, right? Why when I went to go and try to like give him it, bro? Why it smelled like straight motherfucking Pedusi, bitch? Like he just rammed up in a man, a dead lamb. Man, look. Man, y'all leave me out y'all kitty cat fights, dog. Leave Big Boogie name out of y'all shit, man. Leave my name out this shit, bro. What's wrong with y'all, man? Like, like. Man, y'all leave me out. Like, hey, bro. Pick another rapper, man. What the fuck? Y'all want to bother me. Hey, bro. All publicity, good publicity, but I don't play that type of shit, like. Nah, cause this dick smell good, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. man. Leave me out this shit, bro. Like these blogs. Y'all got my name and so much shit, man. Y'all don't leave me the fuck alone, dog. Like, I don't give a fuck about y'all publicity, man. Y'all better leave me the fuck alone, man. Please, bro. Like, please, dog. Y'all annoying fool, like. Stop playing with me, man. I wouldn't be speaking about a lot of stuff, but my friendships are important with people, and I'm really, really cool with Boogie. And just the whole thing of the text messages, like, that had nothing to do with Boogie. That was nothing that he, he or me can control when somebody else does something. But as far as speaking about him, let it be known. I had did that because every guy that I either was cool with or at the time, which this was about a year ago. This wasn't recent, y'all. So don't try to say that, you know what I'm saying? It's people's relationships. No, this is prior. This was a while ago. And every person that I talked to, she always wanted to go and backdoor me. So what I did is I started talking shit so that she wouldn't try to go and talk to the person. So that's what that was the case of. But none of that stuff was true about Boogie. That's my dog. Like, I don't even play like that. Let's get into FOE. Amar took to YouTube and posted a video of him and the rest of the gang going to Target to buy to buy Flo and Karina some gifts for their baby's arrival. They even took it over to them at the hospital and spent them and spent some time with them. Guys, that was just so sweet. I'm just glad that they're all able to put their differences to the side and just become friends because especially when you have a baby, a village is definitely needed. So I'm just glad that this is the perfect time for them to put their differences to the side and be there for Flo and Karina in this time. You guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. That's mine, brother. Yeah, we lined up now. Okay. I like that color combination. Pink and purple. Pink and purple. Good color combination. I like it. I'm going to be honest. I don't want that. I don't want paper or something. Bro, these are my paper. These glass, brother. I said I want the pink one. I said I want the pink one. You want purple? Steal it from Jazz. Nah, I just want that. Oh, damn. I'm going to give my job right to Tony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, you did a good job. Bitch, you did a good job. Bitch, you did a good job. What the hell was that? Hey, Glenn. Take the ticket with you. Oh. Get it paid. Oh, okay. Let me go get my ticket. So I can get it paid. I wonder how the food tastes here. Yeah, I'm trying to get that dinner machine. Oh, I might get me some. Actually, I might just wait, bro. I might just wait to get some food, bro. It's a little baby area. What type of stuff is this? This stuff all colorful. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow
Yeah, I'll turn 23 because I'm birthday. Well, well, you got one. How old you is again? 21. Yeah, you good, brother. Just like that. Keep running it up. Keep running it up. She's keeping 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 it